Right. We are generating a lot of power. Yeah, right. We need a bigger resistor. How about this one? Or maybe this one? Or maybe this one? Okay, so what kind of resistor we need for this job? How to select one? Where there is no special formula, all you have to know is that this is rated for 140 amps at 14 volts. That is 2000 watts. Now, that should be the maximum output, but like in a car maybe, so maybe if we change it, we can get even more or maybe less. But anyway, 2000 watts is a lot of power for a very small resistor. This is rated for only 500 watts, for long period of times, but we can use it for a lot more power for short period of times. And this has one ohm. This kind of resistor is on top of a ceramic, so it could dissipate the heat quite well. And this is used with wind turbine when you want to slow it down. When the wind is too hard and instead of breaking the wind turbine, you want to slow it down, you connect this load and you can break it like electronically. So we'll use this uh, resistor just to make some tests and show something. Okay, so we have the load in series with our generator and the multimeter connected on the terminals. So now we are measuring the voltage that is dropping on top of this one ohm resistor. I start on the power from the supply and start generating. We have reached 12 volts. How can we use that to measure the power that was dissipated? Actually, now the resistor is a bit hot, but anyway, there is a way to measure the power not using the current because the power is equal to voltage times current but it's also equal to voltage times squared divided by the used resistor. But it has to be the voltage that is dropping on top of that measured resistor, not on top of the entire circuit. 